Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, Sacred Geography, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a grand solar minimum update Monday, June 12th, around 8.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2023. Thousands evacuated in the Philippines as Mount Mayan spews lava and sulfuric gases. But the big story, damage reported after North Texas, severe weather brings large hail. Keep calm. It's boom time. Take a look at this hail. Holy macaroni. And it only gets bigger. Very large hail falls in parts of North Texas, the nexus of the Schmack. Stormy weather last night, a very widespread event. It brought heavy rain and in some cases hail. And the hail was large enough to cause problems for some homeowners. We've got some video and stills sent to us from viewers Sunday night. This from Shane Wilson in Lantana, south of Denton. The swimming pool getting a bombardment of hail. The size of the splashes when the hailstones hit the water, pretty remarkable. This video shows the size of the hail we're talking about at times, as large as baseballs, occasionally softballs. This picture sent to us from Allison in Highland Village, also in Denton County. In the town of Argyle, the hail coming down at Cole Brolick's house. He also had damage to his solar panels up on his roof. When the hail is this large, it's not just the size, but the sound Holy it makes as it's hitting your property that can be a bit unsettling. That is unimaginable. Helmet alert. Very large hail is falling. In fact, here is the hail map for Sunday, June 11th, 2023. 88,000 plus Hail reports over one inches or larger, 735 over 1.75 inches. And I don't, I don't understand why that hail is not showing up there, but apparently we missed the mark. Here is the snowpack forecast map, and it is looking a little bleak up in the north here in the U.S., well below average in the snowpack, but we still have some heavy numbers in the blues and greens across Utah. Colorado, Nevada, and even California. So still some snow to come down from those mountains. Severe weather and flash flood threats, excessive heat builds. Severe thunderstorms and flash flooding threat continues across the south southern plains and southeast over the next few days. The flood threat and severe weather will also extend into parts of the central high plains and mid-Atlantic today. Potentially record-breaking heat expected through much of the central and southern Texas this upcoming week. Excessive heat for most of Puerto Rico as well. So click on your county for the needed warnings. Let's take a look at that severe weather threat in the northeast right now. Extending all the way up into Canada, into Ontario here, through central New York and into eastern PA. That's going to move out in the evening. Good news. But pop-up storms here in east Texas, as well as Louisiana, is going to quickly dissipate and move to the east. Could be some severe weather in Florida, as well as Georgia, as we move forward. Take a look. There is snow up in B.C. And the severe weather will be minor at best, but in the southeast, popping up each afternoon. Here is Wednesday and then Thursday. And again, Friday, boom, southeast is the big threat. Smoke map. Smoke them if you got them. And certainly they are getting smoked out up here in Alberta and Saskatchewan. Holy macaroni. Edmonton has been choking for days. Calgary as well. And the East Coast, looking in the next few days, is going to actually be quite hazy. From those fires up in Quebec, going to be circling back around Minneapolis, Minnesota, Chicago, Columbus, Pittsburgh, Cleveland, and then back into the Northeast in the next few days. There will be haze in those days. Indeed. Pakistan to evacuate 80,000 people ahead of Cyclone Bipardjoy. Locals have been ordered, not asked, to leave. Chief Minister of Sindh Province says in preparation of severe storms likely to hit western India and southern Pakistan this week. Here's the storm in question. Bipardjoy, 100 uh, mile per hour winds currently. Very severe cyclonic storm, but it's forecast to kind of break down and make landfall as a low pressure system. So not much activity or damage expected from Bipar Joy 
when they were quite worried back here when it was, you know, at 120 mile per hour winds, but it is breaking down. There will be shear as it moves to the right here and probably not a threat to the people that were evacuated. Seismic update. Take a look. Most recent quake, Oklahoma, a frack quake. Nonetheless, no other quakes of note. Quite quiet across the world. Thousands evacuated in the Philippines as Mount Mayon. Volcanoes fuse lava and sulfuric gases. Yeah, the Philippines' most active volcano began spewing lava and gas Sunday, prompting the evacuation of 13,000 residents in the southeast of the country's main island, according to authorities. Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, Philvox, recommended everyone within a 6-kilometer or 3.7-mile radius of the danger zone of the Mount Mayon volcano to be evacuated due to danger of rock falls, landslides, pyroclastic flows, and ballistic fragments. Wow. Holy macaroni. Now, more news. Italy's supervolcano, more likely to erupt than previously thought. This is Campi Falegri, the supervolcano just west of Naples. And we have a full expose coming up in just a few minutes over at Magnetic Reversal News. It will be linked below. Worldwide volcano news update. No other volcanoes of note. We have normal activity at Raventa to 14,000 feet. Chivaluge, Ducono, Mayon, Sange, Ibico, Suanosima. Suanosima puffing to, well, I, there's no data there. 10,000 feet at Ibico for the ash. Ducono puffing to 7,000. Sange to 21. Chivaluge, possible eruption. Ash to 12,000 there. Mayon still continuing its uptick at 9,000 foot puff. Just moments ago, and that is the state of the boom. As far as volcanoes are concerned, space weather news update. It is a pathetic solar max sun. We can't get above sea flare, and there are barely any sunspots. People tell me sunspots are coming around the limb. I don't even see a plage here. Well, maybe that one right there. But just a few pinpricks that are producing absolutely nothing as the solar indices continue to drop. For a second day. This is a weak solar cycle. Almost embarrassing. We did have a solar filament lift off. Take a looky here. Went up straight north. Not going to affect anyone. Except potentially Nibiru. Which is purported to be up there. Now what we do have is amazing footage of that sun diving comet from yesterday. Watch what happens when it hits the sun. Boom. Yeah, coronal mass ejection. This is something we've been reporting for over a decade. When these sun-diving comets make a big impact on the sun, there is a big response. So, this is a quite large sun-diving comet affecting the magnetic field, and then there is always a response. And this is probably what happened during the Younger Dryas period, the Burkle Crater event. We had multiple compacts, uh, comets entering Earth's atmosphere, hitting the planet, and also hitting the sun, causing maybe some space weather and some effects. Now, some crazy science news. This is a headline. Atlantic and Pacific oscillations lost in the noise. I saw this posted by an alarmist on Twitter today, a climate alarmist, yes, a, an anthropogenic global warmist, Atlantic and Pacific oscillations lost in the noise. And this is coming from physics.org. I know it's a few years old. But according to this article, and I want to show you how insane these alarmists are. The AMO, or the Atlantic Multidecadal Oscillation, and the Pacific Decadal Oscillation, or the PDO, do not appear to exist according to a team of meteorologists who believe that this has implications for both the validity of previous studies attributing past trends to these hypothetical natural oscillations and for the prospects of decade-scale climate predictability. Yeah, they don't exist. They claim that using data and analysis and their model simulations, that's the problem. The researchers showed that there was no evidence that decadal or long-term internal oscillatory signals exist and could be differentiated 
from climactic noise. Here's the Hadcrut 4 and AMO. The Atlantic Multidecadal Oscillation comes down and up and down and up and is now going down. It's very obvious. Let's look at another graph of the AMO that goes back to 1572. Up and down, and up and down, and up and down, and up and down. Yeah, it doesn't exist. This oscillation clearly does not exist according to mainstream science. And the Pacific Decadal Oscillation, clearly what you're looking at here is up and down, red and blue. That doesn't exist either. But sea level is catastrophically rising and we're all going to die and burn up. Well, one thing did burn up, I-95. In fact, both sides of the highway are useless now near where I was born. Yeah, right in Northeast Philadelphia. I'm very familiar with this area, like the back of my hand. And I believe this is a strategic attack on infrastructure. This is going to literally shut down the supply chain for months. It's going to be months before they fix this, and there is no alternative route. This is backing up hundreds of thousands of people every day getting to work, and I believe forcing them onto, yeah, the subway and the train. It's insane. A forced end of the world as you know it. You're no, no longer allowed to drive and burn fuel because we're going to burn up the highways. And have you heard? A massive UPS strike could devastate the economy. And it could be just eight weeks away. Just in time for the recession. And maybe the Raqqa reptilian invasion of Earth. And their intentions of exterminating the human race. Check out this short film, 22 minutes, on our Rumble channel. We want to hit 10,000 followers tonight. Please help us out and go follow us on Rumble and get us to 10,000 followers at Oppenheimer Ranch Project and watch this awesome free sci-fi thriller that came out in 2017 that is mimicking everything you've heard of and what actually may be the future of humanity. And that is a boom to knowledge. We are Shadow Band. Please share this video and help us grow. Become a Patreon. Support the work we do. We love you. Be safe. And that is a boom. Mm.